Namaste everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will be going through a 20 minute strong yet creative vinyasa flow sequence. This is a minimum cue class so wherever you feel that you're unable to understand what's happening, feel free to first watch the video or the practice and then replay and practice with me. Feel free to also keep a couple of blocks and maybe a yoga strap handy to make this practice accessible to suit your needs. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin by coming into child's pose. Gently drawing your big toes together, knees slightly apart, slowly walking your hands forward to drop your chest and forehead towards the mat. Taking this time, this opportunity to gently settling into this present moment. And letting go of anything that was happening until now or is to happen after. Beginning to slow down your mental activities or dissolving any lingering thoughts. And simply observing your breaths in and out of the body. Starting with spinal undulations, inhale, curling into your spine, slowly begin to roll yourself up onto your fours. And as you exhale, arching into your spine, you press back into child's pose. Let's do that two more times, inhaling to wave up. Exhaling to press back. One more, inhale. And exhaling back. Inhale, slowly start to roll yourself up onto your fours and this time taking your right palm around so the top of the palm faces the mat. Inhale, you make slight fist with your palm. Exhaling to open. Inhale to make your fist. Exhaling to open. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, you lower your hip towards the back. Inhaling back to center, exhale gently release. Let's repeat the same thing onto the other side, turning your left palm around. Inhale to make your fist. Exhaling to open. Inhale to make your fist. Exhale to open. Now take a deep breath in here. Exhale, you lower your hip towards the back. Inhaling back to center, exhale, gently release. This time you turn your palms around so that your fingers face towards the sides and gently move from right to left. Inhale and exhale. Then slowly drawing circles, moving from your right to left. And the other way around. Inhale, you roll back to center. This time you turn your palms around so your fingers face towards your knees with your biceps facing towards the front. Then inhale, you drop your abdomen to lift your chest and chin. Exhaling to curl into your spine, chin to your chest. Inhaling to arch. Exhale to curl. One more, inhale. Exhale to call. Inhaling back to neutral spine, slowly releasing your palms, drawing back into neutral position. Tucking your toes under, lift your knees to press back into your first downward facing dog. Taking deep in breaths and out here, inhale and exhale. On 
your next inhale lift really high up onto your toes and as you exhale you press in between your hands drawing your abdomen towards your thighs inhale gently begin to tiptoe forward keeping approximately a foot distance from top of the mat drawing your big toes together heel slightly apart so that inhale you lengthen your spine deep breath out to fold again inhale halfway lift deep breath out to fold inhaling halfway lift one more time exhaling to fold micro bending into your knees chin to your chest curling into your spine slowly begin to roll yourself up with your head coming up in the end hands at your heart center take a deep breath in and deep breath out inhale you circle your hands over your head exhaling to fold forward and down inhale half belly lift and this time you lift your left leg up you lengthen the spine now if you're unable to reach you can always use your blocks on your palms to balance but breathe here then micro bending into your right knee slowly step back into runner's lunge deep breathing here inhale and exhale in he lift your right leg up three like a down dog and then gently bend into your knee heel to your hip to slowly draw circles in heel you straighten out the leg exhale gently step your right foot forward drop the back knee turn the sole out in heel to crescent exhale gently lower your palm down tuck your toes under you go standing on your right leg exhaling to fold inhale circling your hands over your head let's repeat the same thing on to the other side exhale to fold inhaling to lengthen your spine lift your right leg up exhale gently step back runner's lunge inhale and exhale here then from here in he left leg lifts three like a down dog and then slowly begin to bend into your knee heel to your hip to slowly draw circles inhaling you straighten out the leg exhale gently step the foot forward drop the back knee turn the sole out inhale to crescent exhaling palms down inhale you go standing on your left exhaling standing forward fold inhale to circle your hands over your head and this time holding on to your left wrist with your right palm take your left leg around to lean to your right
Inhaling to center. Exhale, hold on to your right wrist to lean to your left. Inhaling to center. Exhale to fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, gently step back and plank. Option to lower down, knee, chest, chin. Or from here, you open your feet, hip width distance apart to gently transfer your weight forward to lower down in Chaturanga, low plank. Inhale to Cobra. Or you can lift up in Urdhva Mukho Svanasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, Adho Mukho Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, you step your right foot in between your palms. From there, inhale, you rise up in Anjaneyasana, high lunge. Deep breaths here. Now, cactus your hands. Taking your left hand on top, right hand under, you eagle your hands. So your hands are similar to that of Garudasan, but you're still in high lunge. If this is not in your practice, you can always take elbow to your palm and work on lifting your hands higher. Now take a deep inhale. As you exhale, you turn your body towards the side to come into warrior two. So that your hands are still, your right toes are still turned towards the front of the mat and your left foot is parallel to the back side. Inhale, you release your hands. This time taking your right hand on top, left hand under to clasp. Take a deep breath in and slowly lean back, reverse. Inhaling back to center, exhale, gently release to slowly moving into extended side ankle, Uthitta Parashva Konasan. Either you can place your right palm down towards the mat or you could use a block under your palm. Inhaling to rise up, warrior two, now straighten out your legs. Go back into reverse triangle. And moving into triangle pose, you may want to reduce the distance to keep reaching towards the side so that your palm goes down, your gaze turns up. From there, slowly begin to circle your palms down towards the mat and step back down dog. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, gently step the foot forward. Inhale to rise up in Anjaneyasan. High lunge. Now this time taking your hands in cactus position. Your right hand goes on top, left hand under to interlace. Inhale to turn your body towards the side. Then slowly begin to release your hands. This time your left hand goes on top, right hand under to clasp your fingers. Take a deep breath in, slowly lean back.
inhaling back to warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Focusing on deep and breaths and out here. Then inhale, you begin to lift up, now straighten out both your legs, going back into reverse triangle. And moving into triangle pose. So you may want to reduce the distance to keep reaching towards the side, your palm lowers, your gaze turns up. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly begin to lower your palm down to gently step back, down dog. Inhale, slowly roll forward in a plank to gently lie down onto your belly. Moving into the Hanurasan, you begin to bend into your knee to hold onto your ankle. On your next inhale, begin to lift up. And slowly lower. Inhale, taking your palms by the side, gently press up and back, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, you drop your right shin forward to come to pigeon. Then inhale, you lift the chest. Exhale, walk your hands forward and down. Inhaling to lift. Leaning onto your right, you draw your left leg around your right knee. For Ardha Matsindra, since you twist, inhale, right hand lifts, exhale, you twist. Focusing on deep and breaths and out. Inhaling to turn your gaze forward, exhale to release. So this time, you simply drop your left shin forward, right leg goes back for pigeon. So take a deep inhale, exhale, walk your hands down. Focusing on your breathing cycles here. Inhale, slowly begin to draw yourself up. This time you lean to your left to draw your right foot across for seated twist. So inhale, hand lifts, exhale, you twist. Inhaling to turn your gaze forward, exhale to release, drawing your legs straight, gently lie down onto your back. Preparing for Shavasan. Keeping comfortable distance between your legs with your hands by the side of the body. 
and gently begin to close your eyes, observing deep in breaths and out. Letting go of anything that was happening until now or is to happen after. Simply focusing on your breaths and consciously scanning through the body from your toes towards the crown of the head and guiding every single part of the body to relax itself. Now feel free to stay here a little longer, but if you wish to come out, slowly begin to wiggle your toes and fingers, drawing your feet together, hands over your head. And then slowly turning onto your right side, make your way up onto the mat. In any seated position so that your spine is upright, palms at the heart center, shoulders roll back, chest forward. Being grateful for today's practice, inhaling palms to your forehead, exhale, bow forward. Inhale, gently rolling yourself up, taking a deep, deep, deep breath in. And once you're ready, slowly blink your eyes open. Thank you so very much for practicing with me today. If you've enjoyed this practice, leave your lovely comments in the section below, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.